cat bells. Yep, back out. Saturday, the something, 30th of June, I think. Lost track. And it's absolutely lovely weather. So I thought, let's go to the lakes. No carry, she's working again. Hope you people appreciate what these nurses do for you. <laughs> Little dig. Well, we're plan to go up there. This is high crag. And then onto high style. Whether I make it or not is a different matter because the heat is unbelievable. That's haystacks. Haystacks. Fleet with pike. Dalehead. Robinson. Ranadale. Knots. Grass moor just at the back there. Oh, two things. One, I forgot my Heli Hansen top. So, this top that I'm wearing, it's a t shirt, like, but it's gonna be dripping wet when I get up there. I've got a spare one in my bag. Like, the Heli Hansen, though, it keeps the moisture off your skin. It's amazing. And I left it in the flipping house, wrapped up in the top with my socks. Because I've only got my little trainer socks on. No, they're alright, they're comfortable enough. Yeah, so we're gonna push on and see how far we we'll get because this heat, oh, it was 27 degrees in the car park. 27. Plenty water. Plenty beer. Let's see how we we'll get on. I'm only about half a mile up. It's really hot. God, it's draining. Didn't have it this like. That's the view halfway up. But in here, again, quite a bit of height, like. It just saps your energy, though. Fleet with. Yeah, it could be worse. I was considering going up there, up the front of it, and I thought better of it. Because I've done that twice before. There was no heat then. So, and God knows what it'll be like in the heat. Anyway, this is the path. There's not much wind. There's the odd little breeze just comes over. That's high crag. It's easy, easy like that, isn't it? High crag is there. And when you get to the top of there, you drop down and then you walk along and you go back up the high style. We'll see what it's like up there. Lovely places, so there's not many people around either. I thought it would be really packed, but it's not many people. And we'll push on for a little bit of a break. Whew, I think I'll be taking a lot more breaks going up here. Final resting place of Alfred Wainwright. Yes, ducks. A shaggy terrier among a load of smooth greyhounds. Is what he said about hair stacks. He loved it. You see why when you go up to it, it's nice. It's dead busy though, because of the fact that it was his favourite. So everybody has to go. Now, yeah, I'm gaining quite a bit of height here. I think it levels off a bit along there, but then it grinds up again. And then I climb up onto there. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. I've done it before, you know. I've done this a few times, so I know what's coming. That's why I'm taking my time. Keep a bit of energy for up there. Ooh. There's a little breeze there, cool you down. Not used to climbing in the heat. Probably, I'm used to walking in the fells, but not in this heat. It drains you, man. I've drunk loads of water. Plenty of water. I've got two and a half litres in my bladder. And I've got a bottle as well. Another litre in a, in a bottle. Probably drink all that. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm at a crossroads, coming up to a crossroads, so there's a choice. You can go. You can go up there to Scarf Gap and across the top of that. 
I think that's called seat or the seat, something like that. Oh, you can go up, dive off to the right up here, straight up on High Crag, which is up there. But uh, looking at the contour lines, it's not that bad. Doesn't look as bad as nowhere from what I've been doing. Like, so I'm gonna go up this up this side here. Rather, the Scarth Gap is a long way, you know. Over the top, it's still a steep climb at the end of it as well. You don't get away with the, the steepness. So I just go for it, straight up on the high crag. Oh, there's a bit of wind. Lovely. Police have been combing the area. That's getting me caught. Not to be done. But I'm here. Lovely views from here, mate. You can just camp here. Look at this. There's flat grass here. There's a flat spot there. Anybody fancy it? There's bits here. There's pictures here. It's on the path, but that's all. All right, I'm going to push on. Absolutely creased like. That breeze is very welcome. Plus, it's keeping all the midges away. It's going right up my trouser leg. That's the other side of the haystacks. I decided to come up Scarf Gap. It's a bit scrambly like. This path here. Steep as out. And then it goes up there. This is the way that I was going to bring Cumbrian, carrying uh, Mark, up to the when we went to Bleaberry Tower. Came here instead. Went there instead. It's hard, this, this bit is hard. Bicycle. The wind's picking up. That's over there, can't we? because this is uh once I've done this bit it should be quite straightforward. It's hard this or bloody steep steep path. So after all that effort to get up from Scoth Gap Pass to the seat the seat um you've now gotta go up that path there Can we see it? Can we see the path? That's the path. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. All the way up, 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 and then Christ knows where it goes. I'll have to pick it up from there. I can't see it from here. Probably around the back. But that's not. That's just high crag. I've got to go at high style after that. That's another 100 meters. Phew, this is a kind of trick in this heat. Good. And the mighty pillar. Pillar. But if I... I'm now halfway up that path. That zigzag path. Whew. Creased. There you go so far. And it's made up path, it's like steps. And then it just disappears. And it's a bit of a bit of a scrambly mess to the top. Phew. But we're getting there. I got, I got halfway quite quick. So it shouldn't be too bad. I've been walking two hours now. Absolutely roast and hot. 
put sun cream on. I think I've wiped it all off. The sweat. Right. We'll push on the path. Here. Yeah. And it turns to that. The top. Assuming. Just over the back of there. I'm only about 80 metres off the top. Oh. It takes your breath. It takes your breath. A bit mad this. Scrambling. Christ. Number one, back two. Oh, that's the way I came up. Uh, the path runs out there. Nothing. Just find your arm ribbon way. Look for the disturbed patches. That's what you aim for. Whew. Blimey. I'm nearly at the top. 50 metres. It's the hardest bit. Whew. That's it. That's the top of High Crag. 744 metres. Boosh. Now I've got a choice to make. See? Because that there is high, high style. So do I go up that? Or just to find somewhere here? Because this looks alright. Flat. I guess you just wanted to get somewhere with the sunset. Looks rocky as hell around here though. Horse flies. You're gonna get plagued by horse flies. And wasps. Ooh. Anyway, what do I do? I'll make a decision. Six o'clock, like. Aye. So as I was saying. Before I got attacked by that wasp thing, do I continue along the path to high style? Which probably isn't as far as it looks. And take the road tomorrow, go down the path past Blueberry Town, and then just walk along the lake back to the car. That wind's just gone, like it was windy up there. It's red hot when the wind vanishes. Woof. It's like the tropics. Lovely. And a deal. Over the bottom of there, the forest and that. Pillar over there. The Irish Sea. See, I want to get somewhere where I can see the sun go down. And that's in the way there, so I'm thinking I might have to go on top of that. I think I will just continue. I've got plenty of time. Let's have a little break halfway. Backpack's dead heavy. I'm likely going down tomorrow. Right, oh. Let's we'll see, see how we get on here. I've walked this before. Like I say, it's a lot easier with a day pack on. Oh, crack on. I've come from right over, right on cue. I've come from right over there. That high high crag. Fucking paths and miles on. So I'm doing like a who has 90. Right. Then I've got to go drop down to about 720 metres. And that's 806 metres on a high style. And I was at 744, so I dropped 20 metres. It's now. These little uphill sections are a bit tough, but you know, we're getting there. Oop, right. Evening. <laughs> Ninjas. Yes, you. You and the mask.
Right, I'm going to get after them. Morning campers. Blueberry time. Camp there, like. That's what I'm thinking about going down tomorrow. Running along. Along there. Down. Down that bit. Along to Red Pike and then down. I see that walk back, it's three miles back the way that I came. Anyway, top of High Crag. I think that's the summit over there. That's the top, right over there. I've just got to find somewhere to find a pitch because it's rocky. It's dead rocky. I'd be struggling here, like. I need to find a bit where I can get the pegs in. Oh, the wind's picked up. What a hike. Three miles and something or other, 806 metres. So, I shall find a pitch and come back. So, I dropped down from high style, which was up there. I was up there before, milling about. I've come down about 40 metres because uh, the, the ground is just rocky. I never really considered that. Really rocky up there. So I've come here, and to be honest, I can't say I'm too worried about having to drop down because this is my view over Ennerdale water. Red Pike there. I don't know the name of them ones. Oh no, that's Pillar though, over there. Not big one. It's a big flat top on there, but there's people on there tonight. But yeah, can't get vexed at that, like, can you? And I've got uh, Craig Charles on. He's here. And I've got 4G, so I can text him. <laughs> what a sad act. Anyway, I'm gonna now sit down with a beer. First of me um, crafties, I'll show you them in a minute. Then I'm going to put my little chair up as well and just sit with that view and just have a beer and chill out. And then I'll have me bait. What a walk that was. What is it now? It's 10 to 8 at night. That sun's going to go drop right into the water there. I'm just at the right place. But it's hazy, so we might not get such a good sunset. We'll try. Beer selection tonight is. Verdant pulp, that's lovely. That if you like a hoppy beer, eight percent. Verdant again, lovely stuff there, bro. Even sharks need water, even in this heat. What's that? Six point five percent. Them two are beautiful. Um, Shindiga summer, got that one again. Thought I'd grab another one while it was there. This is an ex parrot. Hello, Polly. Better now, it's a bit of cuttlefish. So I love that one first because that's 6.5, so I don't know. And I bought another one of these Unhuman Cannonball. This is the one I spilt last week, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't be spilling it tonight. 11% that, 11%. Oh dear. So I'm going to start with that Summer Sharks Pulp Unhuman. So Let's go around, there's me little setup there, I've brought me summer bag as well, Van Gogh Planet, for 35 quid. The beer costs more than the sleeping bag. <laughs> but you know, that's all I need. I had that blooming rab bag last week up on the TV and I was roasting. And it wasn't that hot up there, so imagine what it's going to be like. Look at that man, that's the view of my tent. Nice. Thing is, I won't see the sun sunrise. That's the only thing. But yeah, I'm not bothered about that. It's up too early anyway for me. I'm gonna lie in tomorrow. Right. I'm gonna crack a beer. The music back on.
Not bad. So anyway, oh, yeah, it's been a long day today. I went to work this morning, eight o'clock. Well, I was on site for eight o'clock. It was a little long before that. Um, um, we've got this one, Pulp Verdant. Verdant is a very good brewer. There you go. Excuse me. Anyway, so I'll have a little taste of this. See what it's like. Pulpy. It's thick. Tropical. Hoppy. It's very hoppy. Um, there's a lot of fruit in there, like. I'd have to have a look at the description of what they put in it. It's like mango, pineapple, that sort of thing. Nice, nice beer. I think this is the last one, like, it's after 10 o'clock. Um, it's 20 to 11, bloody hell. Alright, uh, so the wind's picking up. Tent's solid. I've had my steak. Craig Charles is on. Everything's great. So. To that massive walk today, I'm toying with the idea of going down Red Pike, but I'll probably go back the way I came. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I decide in the morning, see how I feel, see how my legs feel. Because going back that way is just scrambly as hell, you know what I mean? I'm, I've got a feeling I might come down on my backside, but it's the same for Red Pike as well. It's, that's a steep one as well. So, uh, See how I feel anyway. Right, got in the bed. I'll see you in the morning. Morning campers. Heidi hi. No. Not a thing. Oops, just kick the kick the tripod over. Well I've woken up to a glorious morning. It has just gone eight o'clock. I was up at four o'clock mind. And then five and then six. So I've had a few hours kip. I was just absolutely shattered last night. Tried to stay awake. But I couldn't. I've got one can of beer left. My special expensive can. I'll take that back with us. Unhuman cannonball. Unhuman, you know. Uh, so, I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I've got some porridge. What? Yes, man. It's not a soul about in the wind. This is coming in gusts, weird little gusts. Look at this morning. Look at that for a morning campers. Yep. Yeah. Decided I'm just. Oh, I'm just gonna go into, back down the way I came, like. I think the path down from Red Pike is a bit too steep for going down with a big bag. Yeah. I'm really falling on my backside. 
cut. So I'm going to get the kettle on anyway. Have a cup of tea, folks. What a morning. Listen to it. It's boiling hot. I have to get out of the tent. So that's the view. Ennerdale water in the background. Some hills. More hills. That's Scotland over there. Dumfries and Galloway. So what I'm going to do now is drop the tent and head off into the unknown house. I know it's steep going back, like it's going to kill me knees, this. But you know, I do have to go back, unfortunately. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's the one though, this is not 806. I think the summit is actually over there somewhere. But I'm doing all of them just to make sure I've see if I can climb it. I was down there over the side of there. God, I was about 50 meters down. That was a canny pull up first thing in the morning. Wake you up. So I'm heading back that way. Over the Martian Rocky landscape. I was going to go that way, but look how steep that is, man. You'd fall down that, wouldn't you, with this bag on? It's ridiculous. Look at that, I'd have to go down there with a big backpack on. Don't know, like, I'm fancying my chances. It'd be embarrassing more than anything if I went, if I fell. Alright, I'll crack on. See what this brings. It's already red hot. I've got a litre of water left. And I bet you I haven't got that at the bottom. Right, it's hard to walk on. Watch your ankles on here. There's a lot of ankle breakers. Watch where you put your feet. And you'll be fine. A little bit of hiking advice there. So there's Fleetwood. And High Crag. That's the path I've got to go on. I walk along that ridge, down the back of that, onto a place called Seat, through Scarth Gap Pass, and then down. And I come out at the bottom of that valley there. Whew! Three miles. So, pesky armor there. July the 1st today. Mind it feels hot like July. <clears throat> oh. right. Let's crack on. That's high crack. It's harder to get there than you think. Like <clears throat> it's hard walking. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hard walking on them boulders, man. Definite ankle break. You'll be careful where you're putting your feet. You've got to really watch. And this is the path here. That leads on a high crack. That's high style, that one. I meant, I meant to say high style. Look at that, you drop down there, you're gone, like. You're not getting back up. Back up. That's put a mirror down there. Where there's a nice blue car waiting to take me home. Rest my weary body. Just looking at the layout, I could have come. I could have come along this bloody track here. I was down over the side of there. Could have come all the way along instead of all the way over the top again. Eh, not to worry. I like to stick to the paths up here. It's easy to get lost. It's very, very easy to get lost, especially if it's cloudy. Right. Onwards. There's people up there already. 
JBP. Time to day set off. Just taking five minutes. It's coming down from High Crag. Now this, this is where it gets hard. Like this path here just deteriorates for a while, and then it gets really steep just over the edge, just over the side there, and drop off. Dead steep, and it's not made up. But then it becomes path again, so should be alright. That's where I'm going down that path there. This is the, this is called seat. You go over the edge of it and then down. You can see the path coming down there between haystacks and seat. at Scarf Gap Pass. And you just go down the, down the valley, and it should be straightforward. I get it's going to be really hot down there. There's just the odd breeze coming over, which is lovely. But it's boiling, really boiling. So if you're coming to the lakes this today, I suggest you bring your Factor 50 because it's a scorchio. I've got Factor 30 on. I'm still feeling it. So I go down there. I think I'll I'll come back when I'm at the bottom. I don't want to be filming on the way down because it is really bad. I was slipping coming up, so God knows what's coming like going down. I think my backside's gonna get wet or oh, dusty. That's the thing. Everything's dry, so it's dead grippy. The stones are dead grippy, but there's loose stones, you know. They're the ones that send you away. Right, I'm well, we gonna tackle this anyway. Get this bag back on. All right. This is the tricky bit. We're coming down there, like what a flipping. No slips, mind. Fingers crossed. All the way down here. It's just a bloody scree slope. No path. Oh. Ah, come up this. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Boca. You've just got to plant your feet like. Yes. I cannot believe that I walked up here yesterday. Get in the deep stuff. At least you can slide. You can sort of ski down. So you can grab onto. Whew. Put the camera away. Because it's hair raising. Look at that man. Some path that. As in, it's not a path. But down there it becomes steps. Just here, so nearly down. Whew. What a job. It. Down in one piece. Hey, that path is a killer. It's hard, like. I tell you, this goes out to Cumbrian Camper, Carrie, and Mark Thompson. You, you'll thank us when you realise I didn't bring you this way on that Bleabury Town camp. Because this is brutal. I'm still not down. I'm still only at there, the seat. I've got to drop down to Scarf Gap next. More blooming ankle breaking. But God, that's hard. Going up, I can't believe I went up there yesterday. Full pack. Literally up that path there. And over the top. Phew. Anyway, down now, so push on. Up to the top seat there. You come down the path. It's just rocky as out like. Come down, wiggle, wiggle, a bit scramble. It's a good adventure. You got a day pack on, it's great. Not so much fun with a big 18 kilo pack on me back, like trying to pull you over. Anyway, down, done the hard bit. It's just the road, the track down back. 
down to the car. So that's haystacks there, people going up. Popular climb that one. It's not easy though, you know, I've come prepared for haystacks. It's quite, uh, quite a challenge getting up there. Especially after the walk up that valley, that's a hard walk up the valley as well. So it's very doable though. Yeah, so I'm just gonna head down this way now. And along this path, back the way I came. Let's just negotiate this a little bit here. Oh god. <laughs> Scorch you over the day. Red hot. No, well, I'm gonna lose my battery on this. I think we'll leave it there. For now, I'll come back at the bottom. I might dip my tears in the water. Cool my feet off. My feet are burning with the wrong socks on. No blisters or pain though, just hot. Oh look, that's where I went up. My god. That's the path I was on. Christ almighty. Maybe I went crack on. I went along there, up through them trees, along the path to about there, went up that bit, up there, over it, down the back of it, and then well you can't see it but on to high style there. That's where the top of the high stair is. Camping over the back of that. Whew. Total walk, came back the same way. Total walk, seven and a half mile. And that, that mountain, high style is 806 meters. So 2,600 odd feet. That wasn't easy, like, in this heat as well. Oh, there's people going up there now. I feel sorry for them, like. Anyway, this deserves a reward. Oh. Oh. 